Hello, Yarn of Bees. How are you today? Today is day... What is today? Did it? Blah, 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 blah. Today is day 15 of Angie and Sandy's gift... What the heck is it called? <laughs> Thank you. Christmas is terrific. Gift exchange. Holy cow. <laughs> it's going to be one of those days. <laughs> oh, <clears throat> okay. Um, first things first. Mr. Crochet B wanted me to show you this. <clears throat> Angela had given me um, on the, one of the first couple of days that uh, we started opening up gifts. George opened this one. She gave me the uh, Mary Maxim Prism yarn. <clears throat> uh, the color, I don't even know what the color is. I don't have my glasses in here. God darn it. <clears throat> um, I'm not sure. It's the blue and the, bl uh, blue and the brown anyway. And it's fuzzy yarn. It's got a halo. <clears throat> so we figured that it might go really well on the Addy machine as a knitted hat. So George tried it. And ta-da! There it is. So you can put the brim up or brim down to make it a beanie or slouchy. <clears throat> but the funky thing is, is you see those colors? Turn it inside out. Ta-da! Totally different hat. <laughs> Isn't that cool? <laughs> so, it's magic. <laughs> Excuse me. <clears throat> um, yeah, so it turned out really well. It's a bit thin, right? It's like a, it's more of a fall, spring hat. So, yeah, it is very fine, a very fine hat, um, but <clears throat> it, the colors are really nice, and it's so soft. It is really soft. So, yeah, so it worked out great. George is really happy with that. As long as George is happy, all is right with the world. <clears throat> oh, so I just woke up, and I had a shower, and brushed my teeth, made my coffee, and then I went to take a sip of my coffee and realized I just brushed my teeth. Uh, doesn't taste very good. <clears throat> so, I went to bed at like 2.30 in the morning. Why? Don't know. I was revamping some patterns that I had. And uh, I looked up and it was 2.30. And I was like, oh crap, I better go to bed. And so, I'm a little out of it this morning. <clears throat> like I'm not every morning. <laughs> So, Bailey is here with me today, aren't you? Come here. Come see, say hi to the peoples. Come here. Come here. <clears throat> oh, but, oh, there she is. Say hi, people. Say hi, Yarnabies. Hey. Mm, yeah. So, I don't know if she's feeling okay or what the heck's going on. She's just acting real weird. She's just, I don't know. She's just not herself. Okay, not yourself. You're not. Are you ready for your treat? <clears throat> Let me open up mine first. Okay, here's my advent calendar. Looking for day 15. It's up here. It, it's obviously a round ball. No, this one's mine. This one's mine. <clears throat> it's the Smarties ball. And the de the um, country is Sweden. Dun, 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 dun. Okay, now Bailey's. Let's see if she's gonna eat it today. Here's Bailey's day 15s right here, right? Yeah, I ripped the box all the hell in a hand basket. I'll tell you. Okay. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. <laughs> it's the Chewy Lamb 
Yeah. She's like, <laughs> I know, you're not going to eat them. No, you're not going to eat them. I know you're not. She wants to try, though. I got a package on the counter. Nope. <laughs> okay. <coughs> well, I'm so sorry. George, yeah. can you grab her a treat, please? She, she doesn't want these. <laughs> Go see Daddy. He's got a treat for you. Just giving her a regular treat? Yeah. Okay. She doesn't like these at all. Oh, really? <clears throat> oh, there she goes. <laughs> okay. Now, a gift for moi. Uh, oh, God. What, what side did we do? We did the yarn bowl. So it was the middle. And I was supposed to do... Oh, man. I can't remember which side I'm supposed to do. Left, right, right. Okay, let's just do the right side. <clears throat> okay, let's do a smaller one. Here's this. I think this is one of the smallest ones. Yep. This is one of the smallest ones. So it's a $100 bill. Yeah, $100 bill. That hat is for sale, by the way. <laughs> George says his hat's for sale. <laughs> okay. Oh, feels like it might be a keychain. <clears throat> Okay, the best things come in small packages. Okay. Oh, yeah, it's a keychain. <clears throat> oh, look it. Dun, 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 dun. Oh, isn't that cute? Oh, what? It says, yarn. Oh my god, I can't like oh it says yarn bee. <laughs> my my I haven't got my glasses on. Oh, uh, can you see that? Yarn bee. Yarn bee. Look at that. Isn't that adorable? <clears throat> I love this. Um I got one of these a few years ago and I absolutely love them. So I'm, I've got two sets of keys, so I'm going to put this on my other set so that I've got, I've got one on each set. I love this. Thank you, Angela. <clears throat> I just love this. I mean, it's, I don't know if you can see it. It's, it's actually, um, um, what's it called? Um, oh, thread work, um, embroidered. There we go. Whoa, brain work. It's actually embroidered onto the leather. It's so pretty. I just love these. Love these. So, yeah. So I'm going to put that on my other set of keys. I got one, one set for my car and one set for... <clears throat> my uh, mailbox key so yes yay thank you <clears throat> okay now the questions ran into a little bit of a dilemma okay um the question for yesterday was boxing day falls on the feast of saint stephen's and which other holiday Okay. Oh, darn it. I didn't, I wrote it down here and I forgot to save it. <clears throat> um, hold on one, so one second. Okay. Sorry about that. I had to bring it up. I thought I had it all up. Okay. So the answer that I had was Kwanzaa. Okay. But when I started noticing everybody putting down a different answer, I went and I looked again. And everybody's, the consensus throughout the, um, the chat was uh, Constitution Day or Ren Day. Okay, so what I'm going to do 
if there was only like one person or two people that put down Kwanzaa. Uh, Kwanzaa is one of the days, <clears throat> but I, I didn't know. I thought that maybe that was the only one. So <clears throat> what I'm going to do is I'm not going to put a name, like a, a word in the random comment picker. I'm just going to pick just a normal random comment picker. And, uh, because everybody, everybody was saying either one or two, two of those, um, answers. So I'm just going to pick it as a, if it was just a, a regular, uh, random comment picker and <clears throat> whichever name comes up is the winner. Okay. So here is the name for to, uh, yesterday's winner. Okay. I figured that that was the fairest way to do it. So, okay, today's question is, gosh, we're almost there, guys. Almost there. You got, I just realized you guys are kind of crooked. Uh, sorry. <laughs> okay, today's question is, okay. Whose eyes are all aglow in the Christmas song? Whose eyes are all aglow in the Christmas song? I know. <laughs> Don't say anything. <laughs> okay. All right. So put your comments down below and I will tell you tomorrow who the winner is for today. All right. Uh, I think that's it. I think that's all I have for today. So I have, <clears throat> I, I, oh, I got a story time. I went to the mailbox yesterday to pick up, um, one of my yarn orders. Uh, I had three of the mail slips that came in the mail to say that I have a package. I thought, oh, well, one is two of them have the same price for duties on it. So I thought, well, maybe that was for the same box. She brought out three massive boxes. Massive. I was like, uh-oh. Thank God I brought George with me. Because it was like $80 per box for duties and, and, um, Border fees. Uh, it was from Hirschner's. It cost me over two hundred dollars in border fees to get this order through. This was one of my Black Friday uh, box um, orders. I haven't bought a lot of yarn in a long time. It's been a few years, so I figured I'd treat myself, you know. And I got some great some great yarn and stuff. So I spent probably about $420 Canadian in yarn. And it cost me over $200 to get it into the country. What the hell? Hirschner's apparently has changed their shippers. And usually um, I will get a message saying, oh, it's X amount of dollars. <clears throat> And it's usually like, no, like maybe $30 to bring in a box from Hirschner's. $80 a box. They need to rethink their shipping. You know, like I couldn't believe it. I was shocked. So, but anyways, I've got three boxes from Hirschner's. I got one box from Premier. I've got my furls order that's going to be here within the next couple of days. Um, so I'm going to have some unboxings for you guys. I may have to split the Hirschners up over three, three different uh, videos. So, but yeah, so all you Canadians out there, be very careful when you're uh, ordering from Hirschners now, because they don't tell you uh, what, how much your, your border fees and stuff are. You don't know until it gets here. And if you don't have the money to pick up that order from the post office, you don't get your order. So be very careful. Okay. All right. All I can say is thank God for George. <laughs>
take up for George because I only had half the money at the time. You know, so he bailed me out right there. <laughs> he says, Merry Christmas. <laughs> I'm like, okay. <laughs> so anyways, guys. Okay. I love you. I will see you tomorrow. Bye.